My name is um, Amotari Esoya. Um, I'm a Nigerian. I'm Yasmin Ogunchi, final year partnership in administration. I'm from Benin and Congo. My name is Cyril Bruce Catling. I'm a Ghanaian student, level 400, marine engineering, BSc. My name is Oscar Tape. I'm from Liberia, second year student. I'm doing marine electrical and electronics. Uh, my name is Tekwe Gideon Awusa from Cameroon. My name is Gabriela Lafag. I'm a student of Regional Maritime University, marine engineering in level 200. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Lillian. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back. Should I just say that this is a highly requested video or I should just go straight to the point? But I have got tons of messages. I have got so many comments asking that i do a video on regional maritime university ghana and finally who am i to say no to you guys my bosses so i have to succumb to you guys by doing this video because i already say that i'm bored with schools i'm tired of talking about education 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 the more i talk about the schools in ghana the more schools i see so i feel like i'm never going to be able to get to the end of it so i got bored and i backed out but let's do this once more or maybe twice more because there's another video like this coming up and it will blow your mind so i hope that i get a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed i hope you hit the subscription button straight up to the point we are going to tema at the greater accra region of ghana to take a look at one of the prestigious universities i mean i can easily say one and only of its kind here in west africa i wanted to say in africa but i remember that i know little to nothing about southern and eastern africa and north africa so i'm just going i'm going to leave it at west africa but the comment section is all yours to correct me if there are others or this is one and only that we have in the whole of africa but for west africa this is one and only all right so let's go straight to tema and take a look at regional maritime university and i hope that you will like this video let's go Ghana Nautical College is a global branch for maritime education and training. RMU trains efficient officials for the maritime and ancillary industries of the world at large. Our students study in a conducive environment with state-of-the-art teaching and learning facilities. We offer MSc Renewable Energy Engineering, Environmental Engineering and Bioprocessing Engineering with scholarship opportunities for students, MA Port and Shipping Administration. Others are BSc in Accounting, Port and Shipping Administration, Logistics Management, Computer Engineering, Computer Science, Information Technology, Mechanical Engineering, Marine Engineering, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Nautical Science, Diploma, Professional and Vocational Programs, Oil and Gas, Short Courses and Seminars, Delft Dial French Language Proficiency, English and Japanese Languages Proficiency. Our fees are comparatively lower. Admission is twice a year. BSc Marine Engineering. BSc Electrical Electronics Engineering and BSc Computer Engineering. You will be armed with adequate science and technology skills to enable you cope with the rapid advances, training, research and innovation and service to humanity. On this occasion of the 17th congregation, we are proud to present to you the graduating class of 2022-2023, who enrolled in their respective programs from two and four years ago. A total of 444 graduates will be passed out, and they will be awarded diploma, bachelor's, and master's degrees. Of this number, 50 will receive their master's degree. 324 bachelor's degrees and 70 will be awarded diplomas. 12% of the honored graduates are graduating with first class honor, 57% with second class upper division, and 26% with second class lower division degrees. 4% and 33% of the diploma candidates obtain distinguished distinction and upper credit respectively. Honorable Chancellor, 
Your Excellencies, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, the University continues to review its programs in line with our quality management system and in accordance with requirements of accreditation bodies. Few new postgraduate and undergraduate programs which were developed and approved by the Academic Council were submitted for accreditation. I am happy to announce that the BSc Procurement and Operation Management Diploma in Accounting with Information Technology have been approved. These programs will be rolled out during the 2023-2024 academic year. All the programs expected to be accredited are MSc Coastal Environmental Management. Bright, Cobra, Niwang, Jamina, Insia Fati Abdullahi, Nyaku, Akwasi Buadu, Penny, Natania, Quay, Vicentia, Safu Enoch, Akwasi, Yabua, Nyaku, Osai Solomon, BSc Computer Engineering, Second Class Upper Division, Amua Ken, Atta Amisa, Asem Elam Kofi Agwenja Ketu Kujo BSc Computer Science Akwena Sowa BSc Information Technology Abdul Abdullah Saiku Ismail Ado Ni Adote Apia Emmanuel Akwasi Fuga Joseph Akoto Godway Kwabna, Berbo Kwasi Junior, Bonnie Joe Jeff, Jeffrey, Dakon Krantin Prince, Podo Joseph, Okran Henry Benjamin, George Rennie, Diploma Marine Engineering. I have done videos like this. I mean, like I have done so many of them, this type of videos on here. But I can tell you for free that this school happens to have the most successful alumni I have ever seen in the history of me doing school videos. Definitely, this homecoming is not the regular. This maritime uni, I am telling you about people that are coming out straight from the school and becoming so successful. I can tell you for free that this school has got the richest and most successful alumni in history of all the videos I have done, except for the one I'm going to do. I don't know if that is coming after this or in between or even before this, but there's another school like that in Ghana where the alumni are leaders, like where the alumni are doing incredible things. But this particular one, the alumni of Regional Maritime University are, are doing amazing. And the fun part for me about them is not all of them are Ghanaian, okay? They are in every region, every part of Africa, especially West Africa. And let's go and see their homecoming. It's not the regular, it's not the type of homecoming I have done here. This homecoming is like... It is not in me to talk highly of people that has money, but these guys are doing well. Let's go and see as they come back to give back to their alma mater. And I'll be back. Aus dem Nebel heraus Bring dich wieder zurück nach Haus yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West Komm halt dich an mir fest Thank you.
for prioritizing tonight's event and taking time off your very busy schedules to be here. Some of you flying from various miles to be here and mark this very special location. Welcome to the Regional Maritime University Anniversary and Fundraising Dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight will not only be a night of whining and dining to celebrate our illustrious institution, but also a night where we ask you to dig deep into your pockets and support a series of projects, initiatives, and anniversary activities earmarked to celebrate the Regional Maritime University at 65 years. This year, the Regional Maritime University, as we all know, has turned 65 years a long history of amazing, incredible, talented, and very illustrious Ghanaians and Africans have passed through this great institution. And tonight we celebrate what has been and what will be. We celebrate the history and we look forward to a new season, another 65 years of excellence from the Regional Maritime University. But in all of this, we need your support, we need your help to continue its mission of uh, providing comprehensive and liberal education and training to meet technological challenges within the maritime industry and I'm pretty sure all of us will contribute to making that happen. But first and foremost allow me to introduce myself. My name is AJ Akwako Sapon. I am a radio and TV personality at Media General, TV3 and 3FM to be specific and I'm really really glad and very honored to be your MC. Now before we get into anything I'd like to of course acknowledge the exception distinguished personality that have made time to be with us here some of us coming in from all over the African continent and we truly appreciate you making time to be with us this evening I'll start it off with our Chancellor board chairman and Minister of Transport Works and Infrastructure in the Republic of the Gambia ladies and gentlemen a round of applause for Honorable Ibrahim Siha thank you very much for being here sir a Ladies and gentlemen, next to Secretary General Mocha, Dr. Paul Adilipo. Thank you very much for being here, sir. Now, to the man who can officially call the host of tonight's evening, the acting vice chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Jeffrey Brooks, Jr. Round of applause for him. Thank you very much, sir. Your voice is very familiar. In, uh, I think uh, when I was in Ghana, I used to hear you on radio. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for joining us uh, on this phone race. Actually, when I was coming, I never knew that I was going to make a speech. I thought we were going to feast on the benevolence of the RMU, and later we send the bill to the uh, acting vice chancellor. But now that I am given the opportunity to say a few words and to kickstart the phone race, let me say that um, we are very happy to be here with you. And thank you so much, uh, the wonderful hotel, for that uh, very good meal. I say, if you come to Ghana and uh, you did not eat uh, banku or fufu, yet you are not yet introduced to Ghana. And uh, some of my colleagues here, who of course are from uh, the West Africa region, have never tested some of these foods. So I encourage you to have a very fond memory of Ghana through the wonderful traditional foods that we have here. I took banku and goat soup and it was extremely very nice. On behalf of all the ministers, we, we, can we start with Sierra Leone? Not $1,000, not $1,500, not $2,000, and not $2,500. It starts from $3,000 for every minister. Let me hear from you. This Minister of Sierra Leone, I am pledging $3,000 for the RMU. So five countries, $3,000 is already $15,000 in the bank. Come on the podium, representing Cameroon. Come to the podium and representing Ghana. I'm so honorable as my... Oh, he, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, the, the, the Honorable Minister has left because there is a presidential commission that uh, he is part of and they are having their inaugural meeting today. But I'm sure Ghana will pledge $6,000. I'm sure with uh, $300, $200 added to the $3,000, we'll make $6,000 for Ghana. But I can tell you, Gambia is already pledging $3,000. 
Sierra Leone, five thousand dollars. Liberia, on behalf of my minister and the representative who is in this post right now, because our vice president is in the country in Ghana visiting as well and will be at the program. I pledge the amount of five thousand dollars for Liberia. Okay, thank you very much. To acknowledge that <laughs> the Cameroon can give four thousand dollars. This is great, and then we can safely say Ghana six thousand. Going by our size, we are the smallest. The Gambia is the smallest with a population of just what two point three million people. So we are for the, we have been pledging three thousand, but personally, I'm also putting two thousand on top to make it five thousand. The truth is, I had to forward the video because I'm not going to sit down here and be able to deliver all. But these people are doing amazing. They flew in from various parts of Africa and even various parts of the world to attend the anniversary and do fundraising for their alma mater. Now you see that international students that are coming into Ghana are not just coming to acquire education and go back. They come back to give back and it feels good to know. So that is that. Oh, I couldn't find so many things about this school because I couldn't find like a campus store. It is safe to say that if you can enroll your child or yourself or your family member in here or a friend, why not? In this school, the future is guarantee. I'm sorry. I know education is not a guarantee. I mean, but truth, truth be told, you can't go to this school and get it wrong. I know an alumni from here. Uh, I have seen some of them at the comment section telling me to do a school about, I mean, to do a video about the school. And majority of them are not even in Africa. It's as if once you're done here, opportunities just come for you to be taken to any part of the world that you so desire. It looks really promising like it gives you that instant i think i've seen another school here where the alumni is like it's as if once you enrolled there the future is guarantee you're not going to do try and error you get a job straight up this school is giving me the achasi university vibes where almost all the alumni that i saw while i was doing a video of a chassis are all doing amazing they work with apple they work with mastercard and it is just mind-blowing to see that regional maritime uni has that so if you're thinking i don't know if you can afford it it's good for your child and it's just mind-blowing i do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will give me a thumbs up for all the schools that you guys are recommending i take a look at i'm seeing them and i'm working on them i have no choice but to go back to doing schools because it's as if i cannot ignore them because there are just so many and has a lot to offer and i feel like schools are the ones that need the most publicity because people are searching for them and that is why we are here so i hope that you enjoyed this video and that you give me a thumbs up and you will subscribe for a video like this on here thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one bye